Ah, just a lovely day on the beach, just having ourselves a good old time, just enjoying life in a juice box here in the game Grounded. What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back in Grounded. We did a little live stream action on Saturday. I want to thank everyone for hanging out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so that you're notified of all upcoming videos. By the way, in Grounded, there's an underwater a realm that we can investigate, explore, get after. If you're not aware of what Grounded is, Grounded is a building game, a, a, a sandbox survival game, open world sandbox survival with a bunch of ants. You are a tiny guy. Here's a little guy. Here's some little guy. And you build, create, survive. And it's a little hot outside here today. It's a little hot. A little hot. Um, I said we go inside. Do a little base building. I was uh, knocking out in the uh, research, basically a little bit of research going on there. And then in, in the uh, live stream, delicious. In the live stream, it was real rough trying to just get everything rock and rolling, build a platform because I had a big idea. And I think I pulled it off. Oh my goodness, what's this? This is my crib, my base in the air, exploding, not really. All it's going to take is one little thing to just make this whole thing crumble down to the ground. I can feel it. That's why we have to protect it. We have to protect it. We have to protect it real good. We have to make sure that nothing gets, nothing harms it. And I have not been attacked yet by any ants, spiders, doodads, whatnots, hand-me-downs. I wanted to try and make a Victorian style kind of like mansion. Because my wife was talking about going to Cape May, New Jersey. In Cape May, New Jersey, there's a bunch of Victorian-style mansions that are hotels, and it's wonderful. Stay there. Some of them are haunted. Oh, got some sconces. None. Check it out. Oh, wah, wah, wee, wah, wah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and turn off the lights, girl. Now, Grounded is an early access game, so more content will be added. I'm hoping that we have some more decorum, more decorations. Something tells me we will. Fantastical. Got a little bed. All sorts of fun little storage bins. We got a workshop here. We got our workbench on. We got our working on. A workout. Cooking station. And. No, don't close the door on me. Stop it. Light this up. I got sconces all over the joint, man. It's a fire hazard. The fire hazard and the frames are getting real, son. <laughs> See, that happens, that happens when I get a little, I go a little hard. I went a little hard. Ah, uh, up top here on the second floor on the veranda here, if you will, little, little, little area. Ah, uh, is lovely. This is where we have our smoothie machine. Making smoothies up in here, baby. This is where we can store these smoothie machines. Fuzz on the rocks. You ain't never had it? You want to make it? Let's go ahead and make it. The lights in here will cause your game to go a little wild. Let's go ahead and turn some of these off. Turn it off. Ambient lighting. It looks really nice, uh, nice at nighttime, for sure. But it'll be fine. So let's make a fuzz on the rocks, baby. Where we can go. Let's grab one of the one little uh, mite fuzz. We have to get one piece of Quartzite and one piece of Peblet. Peblet. I will turn around into the smoothie maker. Bang. Drop it in there. Drop it in there. And let's craft it. Boom. Fuzz on the rocks. And it'll memorize all the recipes that you make. It's wonderful. Speaking of research, I have to go ahead and crank it out because we got 5,000 John. Now, what does this do? Fuzz on the rocks. As literal as they come, drinking this disgusting combination somehow makes you healthier for a while. Healthier. Better. Wiser. Got a bit of a mess. Now, up in the little turret. Victorian house is not complete without a turret. I will eventually have berry leather couches up in here. I gotta farm me some berry leather. It's kind of a it's it's kind of a problem. <laughs> it's kind of a problem. They're, they're covered with spiders. Covered with spiders and gross things, Mikey. Gross things, dead things, Mikey. I think it looks pretty baller. And we have this little bridge going out here. I'm going to make this a little walkway that goes to, uh, as you can see, deadly things just, well, hey, spiders, what do you want? Hold on, spiders. 
Hey, spider, what's good? But this way I can land down here and get away if I need to. And oh, 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 it's a battle. It's a battle. Stink bug versus versus spider. Oh, the spider rocked him. Think Bug's down for the count. He's eating his brains. Give me one second. Do I have... I do. What's good, homie? Oh, there's three of them. That's a problem. Okay, hey, bud. Listen, you're going to need to stop hitting my stuff. Whoa, it's a giant arrow. An early access game. <laughs> Get it. Get it. Please don't. Please don't climb. Uh, yikes. 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 Oh, there's four of them. All right, now there's three of them. That's okay, because I got myself a mint mallet. That's right. It's very, very powerful. Very, very powerful. It's a good thing my spawn is literally elevated above them. Come on, Ant. Come on, Ant. Get in on this action. Nice. Down. I'm taking you out. He's freaking out, man. He's freaking out, man. All these arrows. He doesn't know what to do. I'm bugging out. Like, literally, he's a bug. Get it? Spider. Well, this is going to be a problem. We're out of arrows. Guys. 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 Can we talk about this? Boom! Knock him out. That's right. He's stunned. He's up. And now he's dead. We... Are the champions this is our backyard this is our yard you're in our you're in our yard kids everyone here every one of these bugs they're not playing they're playing on away away rules here this is my home turf like literally it's my it's my house it's my house get your dirty spider legs out of here now speaking of keeping bugs out of here I have gotten over 5,000 research which means we have to go in and grab some more plans after I get all these arrows. It's nice that these arrows can be collected. It's just <laughs> they're, they're, they're pretty weak. Now, I do have poison arrows as well. I just haven't made them because I'm, I'm lazy. Eh. Come on, man. Gas sacks. And sometimes these things get glitchy. Glitchy dog, you're mad glitchy. All right, here we go. Oh, we can see what the house looks like at nighttime. Woo wee! Yeah, man. The second that it hits this ambient lighting, that's a wrap. That's a that's a, a pure wrap. So let's see what it's gonna look like from the outside during the night. I think it looks gonna look pretty dope. It's just gonna be a struggle bus. It's gonna be struggle city. Got lights all over this joint, dude. <laughs> Struggle City. Sorry for the frames. So long and thanks for all the fish. Beautiful. Now let's see what it, let's see what she looks like, baby. Let's see what she looks like, right, man. Ah, it does look pretty. It does. I mean, it's gonna burn down. All of that is dry. That's all dry tinder. Try Tinder? No, 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 this is not, no, no, hashtag no free ads. Beautiful. Very, very cool, man. I dig it. Oh, go ahead and get our research on it. First and foremost, let me cut off the light so that our game runs a little bit better. Oh my God. There we go. It's not as brutal. All right. Cannonball. Beautiful. So now we got to go into the research facility. We got 5,000 of that sweet, sweet research. And what you get with that is protective barriers. So what we want to do, what I'm planning on doing, 
is not just having a bridge there. I want to have a big giant wall so that if any terrible spiders or anything they want to try and get uh, get through, they're going to have to go through me first. They have to go in through the wall. How's it going? Hi. I like how these doors kind of sound like they're, they're, get, they're blowing me like fake kisses, like a construction worker is like catcalling somebody. <laughs> it's gross, but yet at the same time, I dig it. Do you have quests? I'm working on these. Ladybug head. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, I don't have a ladybug head. But I got three of these down. These bombardier beetles are pretty ruthless. But now that we have our mints, we got this mint mallet. Check this mint mallet out, baby. Check this out, man. So mint mallet, giant hammer crafted from a chunk of ice caps breath mints. Deals patented mouth town fresh. Damage on head. Okay. You, gotta take your, you gotta take your mouth to mouth town. Take your mouth to flavor town. Whoa, whoa. Torch upgrades, what? The torch has been improved by the power of science will light your way for a very long time. So this is something that for some, I, all I had was the scanner, I had the fortified bases, and I think I had this, the, an upgrade for the scab scanner module that allows it to detect other nearby. Oh, nice. Canteen upgrade, 5,000. Upgrades the canteen so it can hold more liquid, which is okay. Fiber bandage efficiency, refines the fiber bandage recipe so it's much less ingredients per bandage, which is kind of nice. Eye patch. This torch upgrade though, I was saying like, man, they really gotta elongate the torches on here because it's brutal. So, a grass plank wall, a sturdy wall. That is a sturdy wall. Palisade gate, windowed sturdy wall, palisade, a strong ground level exterior defensive wall. So grass plank wall reinforced with cross pieces from weeds. This is just straight, straight weeds here. We're doing it. Woo! A sturdy wall. Thank you, Burgle. You're welcome, Diesel. Hey, Diesel, you're really good at turning me on. Gross, gross, Burgle, gross. It does look pretty wild from night, it does. I dig it. Also, it has a basement. What? Hold on, yeah, the floating, <laughs> the floating platformed Victorian house has a basement, yes. And it's a creepy basement, it's haunted. Just like a real Victorian, <laughs> a haunted Victorian home. Oh, don't forget like this light. Ah, yes. I love the lights. But also, if you go down here, hold on, we got the bed. But our basement, where we'll have plenty of storage forever. <laughs> it feels like. All right. So, got a bunch of different things in here. What was I going to do? Bungle boo. Hmm. Court, court sign. Tell you what, let's go ahead and lift this up so I can see, please. All right, let's see what these palisades look like and how brutal are they going to be. Let's turn all of these off so that my frames come back, please. Dear God. And it's daytime. So, so I don't need them. Eh. Eh. Okay. So palisade gates go into our build a bear section here. Okay, so wing sturdy wall, sturdy wall, stem wall, windowed stem wall. Where's the palisade? Aha, palisade gates, palisade gate. Beautiful. So it's definitely something that has to be, I wonder if we could place it on the ground and can we stack them? Can we stack them up? Doesn't seem like we can, which is a bummer. It's a real bummer, but at the same time, I do kind of dig it. Now, when it comes to this bridge, this bridge, I'm gonna try and put some detail into it so that it actually looks like it's being supported so it doesn't just be, a, it's not a, exactly a floating bridge. You know, we're gonna try and put supports down there. I'm very supportive. But what I want is to have kind of a little walled section here. And this is two woven fiber and eight weed stems the weeds these regular weed stems like there's dandelions there's dandelions you can, they count as weeds because they are weeds they're gross and they should be eliminated from your entire lawn make sure you get some nice weed and feed some good spread but they have these just straight up weeds 
These do not grow back. I think I spent like 10 in-game days after cutting this and uh, they uh, don't grow back and it's kind of a bummer. It's like, hey, I'm gonna give you a heads up then, and thank you for playing so much that you have upgraded to the ax that you see here. And then you go chopping stuff down, but now you're gonna have to wait. You're gonna have to keep on going. And then we get all these plant fibers. As a matter of fact, plant fibers are what make up half of the ground down here from chopping down all of this stuff. Go ahead and get some stacks stacked up. But like, look at all this, these plant fibers from all, me just cutting down trees, baby. And these don't like despawn. They might despawn after maybe like 24 hours, I'm not really sure, but if you're playing and you log out, restart your computer or your, your, your whatever you'll play in the game on, you go to restart it and boom they're right back at you again and oh my god that's like god's flashlight hello good morning good morning yeah let's see you boom having shrooms for breakfast breakfast champions at least i think so on this dimension uh yep keep going keep going shroom shroom shrooming it up brother dearly Bilotti, we are gathered here today to praise Battletoads. Praise Rash. Rash be praised. Got that. Sprig. I love this stuff, man. Just out of nowhere. You know what I would kind of dig? What I would really kind of dig? Even though it's early access, a vehicle, maybe having like a, like a Hot Wheels, maybe like a little Jeep Wrangler somewhere that's dug in the, in the ground. And then maybe, I don't know, science, maybe some resources will help you actually be able to drive it you know this map seems like it's really big it's not that big though it's big but it's very elusive like you seem like uh, trying to get to this point over here it actually surprisingly takes you pretty quick it's a pretty quick little trip on foot it's just it's so densely packed force Go on phages. Let's go ahead and cut down these weeds, baby. We're gonna need all the weeds we can get. We're gonna need all of the boards, all of the pieces. Timber! What is that? Spoiled meat, what? I'll take that spoiled meat. Also, uh, when I say spoiled meat, you definitely wanna hold on to it because it will be needed for recipes. And things of that nature. Oh, what a crappy little weed. That's all we got? Just four, just, just four thing of Bobbers, man? Okay. All right, I mean, okay, sure. Get some shrooms. I'm gonna take these shrooms for the road. You dang right. Ooh, some stuff that I found a while ago. All right, so it's not that bad of a deal. Not that bad of a deal. But yeah, so like I'm 232 centimeters or meters. I just love the way that they've kind of converted it to us being little tiny, tiny guys. And uh, I just think it's a really well done game. And there's a bunch of content in uh, that's inside of it for your imaginative mind. If you want to go ahead and create the ultimate base, it is available for you to do that. Um, as far as content in the game, this is something that can be definitely infinitely expanded. So DLCs, more content added. Having things like there's mosquitoes in this game. I just haven't found them. There's an underwater playground, apparently. Haven't been able to get down to it. There's a bit of a smoothie drink. Look how cool that is with the sun just bouncing off of it. And the beautiful, beautiful oak tree in the background. Of the clovers. And let's go ahead and we'll stack this in here. Got a decent angle on it. See what it looks like from afar with the sunbeams shining right through it. I, I love the graphics, how the sun shines right through the grass and shines through the little weed logs themselves. I really, really dig it. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And I do want to apologize for the quickness of this episode. In my house, I posted a thing on the community page, on the community tab here on YouTube, showing everybody that I had a raging river inside of my house. Uh, actually, not inside of my house, but outside. And some water got into my basement, and I was doing a little bit of cleaning up, and I needed to get rid of that and, uh, you know, take care of some stuff. So I do apologize for the lateness of the video, 
But as you can see, I've been a little busy, and I hope you understand. So folks, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and that is going to be your episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, helps out my channel ever so much more than you know, and if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, I shout y'all, and I will check you out right here again in Grounded next time.